Welcome back to Modern Tales Age of Invention. This is Jewel Smith. And I completed the main game, which unlocked a bonus chapter. And that's what I'm going to play right now. usually play in expert mode. Casual was getting too easy. Emily, we'll check the flying sphere. I want to inspect the damage. I'll take Albert with me if you don't mind. Ooh, this looks like we're picking up right where the main game left oh off. God. Oh no! I need to save them. There was a sinkhole or a cave-in or something. Yeah, sinkhole. Yeah, this is picking up right where the main game left off. Now, that's interesting. Usually these bonus chapters, bonus levels that get unlocked, a lot of times they'll be an act they'll actually be a prologue instead of an epilogue or a, an extra bit of story tacked on to the end. Um, a lot of times they'll, they'll go back to something that happened earlier than the main game or they'll tell some other aspect of the main game from another character's perspective. But this one looks like I am going to continue being the protagonist. I think her name, what did you say? Emily? <laughs> uh, and it's picking up exactly where the main game left off. That's really interesting. Okay. There's Coco. There's the powered motorized sled. The monastery. Let's go check out the sinkhole. They're gone. I have to do something to save them. There's no time to spare. Okay. There's no time to spare, so let's stop and pick up these feathers. <laughs> oh. This crack would be the perfect spot for an anchor so I could climb down into the sinkhole. Okay. Is there anything else to look at here? So what do we have? We have Vladimir's staff still in our inventory. We have an ornamental feather and we have an iron ring. You look desperate. What did you see? Talk to me, Emily. The chasm's so deep and dark. I'm going to climb down there, but I need a rope. That's not a good idea. You won't help them by falling down a hole. Try not to act too impulsively. You should check the crypt where the scientists were imprisoned. Look what I found. A scientist must have dropped it after leaving the crypt. Take it. What? What did you find? A metal thing. How incredibly helpful. Thank you, Coco Chanel. Ooh, we haven't been in here before. This is where the villain in the main game had locked up a bunch of scientists and I had to get them out. Oh, he's got another feather. Okay. Maybe we have to put the feathers here. Alright, what else is going on here? Something is missing. It's shaped like an orchid. Okay. I would have said lotus, but that's, that's okay. I mean... Orchid is much more accurate. I don't know. How many petals do orchids have? Alright, let's ooh, ooh, is this gonna be a hidden object puzzle? It is! Oh pretty. Alright, let's see what we can find here. A stone book. Is that the stone book back there? No, it's not. Oh, maybe this is the stone book. A chandelier. There's lots of bats hanging up. Do we have to find bats? Not yet. Maybe another time. Sometimes we revisit the same puzzles more than once in these hidden object adventure games. A sprinkler. An oil lamp. Interact. I can interact with. The oh, there's the oil lamp. There's another bat there, too. And the lantern. 
sensor. And the pouch. I saw that right there. Uh, horn? Do they mean this horn on top of his head? I guess so. I gotta find a scroll and a dove and a sprinkler. We can interact with this. There's the mask. Is that the dove? Is that supposed to be the dove? That's the scroll. Ooh, there's a skeletal hand with a ring. Oh, and I gotta find three bells. Okay, yeah, I've been seeing the bells here. Chandelier? Is this the chandelier here? No, that looks more like a staff back there. Well, the chandelier would be hanging up, wouldn't it? Or has it fallen? I am not seeing anything that looks like a chandelier. I'm, looking, I'm seeing a candle holder. Wow, that was incorrectly labeled. Is that some use of the word chandelier that I'm not familiar with? Or was that mistranslated? <laughs> I thought a chandelier was the light fixture that hangs from the ceiling. I mean, I guess technically it's probably French for candle holder, chandelier, but um, I think in contemporary English usage, it doesn't usually mean candle holder. It means like a thing that hangs from the ceiling with crystals all over it or whatever. Like in, you know, uh, Phantom of the Opera, the big chandelier that starts out on the stage and then gets pulled up over your heads in the audience. Sprinkler? Do they mean this thing for like sprinkling holy water? Yes, they do. We have found a stone book and how does that help us? It's like, there's no time to waste. Let's go find some stone books. <laughs> Did I put the stone book in his hands? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that opened up something. What's this? We have a hammer and we have a thing. If we have to put the silver tile in there. Okay. Oh, it's one of these games. Slide the blocks to rearrange them and place the key block into the slot on the right. That might be all we have to do. Oh, but we've got to do it more than once. If I move this down... I want to get this one here out of the way. All right, so let's move this one forward. That one up, that one over. There we go. We did it. Is there going to be a third one, do you think? Nope, that's it. We have a scroll. It's Vladimir's staff and the statue. The staff is touching the crystal that's in the statue's hand. Oh, okay. What else do we have here? A starburst? The engraving shows some kind of goblet. Oh, okay. We got to get a goblet to put here. All right. All right. So let's, let's touch it. Let's touch this with the staff. Ooh, it's not a stone book anymore. It's a real book. 
Vladimir rests in his divine chamber deep in the vast underground of the monastery. The underground chamber, it probably collapsed under the flying spear. Oh, is that what happened? Okay. Ooh, there's something new back here. This opened up and ooh, this opened up. Okay, let's go check this out first. Oh, we found one of those, remember? An iron ring. And now, oh, it's a comet. It doesn't fit here, how about here? Aha, oh, we'll take that spike. Uh, so it looks like we're gonna have to find a star and uh, another comet over here to get this unlocked. Oh, but I was able to open this one. I'll take that rope. Oh, I bet this is an anchor. Now we have a rope and an anchor. Let's see. Iron spike, yeah. Let's put this. It says silver ornament, but it looks like gold to me. The gold branches of the tree. The cover is locked tight and the goblet is missing some ornaments. Okay, we still have to put ornaments on the goblet. Got it. What's over here? Ooh. Some kind of picture, but one of the wheels is missing. Uh, maybe the one in the center? Because it looks like there's something here and something here and here and here. It looks like it's the guy sitting on the throne. You can see his face right there. That's, that's the uh, icon for the bonus level that we saw. And there's his funny party hat. Yeah, I guess we need the little central piece maybe. Okay, but I think we can go hammer the spike in here in the sinkhole. Tie the rope to it and now we can go down into the sinkhole oh sure and we died that's the end no <laughs> oh I caught a hold okay find holds oh okay that one right there and that one right there there we go Oh, we're going up, not down. Uh-oh. This is kind of interesting. I like this. It's an interesting way to do a, a, a hidden object. Not really hidden, but, you know, find... hide-and-seek or something. I don't know what you'd call it. A find-and-search puzzle. All right, so that didn't work out very well. I guess that's not how we're gonna get down in there. Did we try calling down, saying, hey, hello? Hey, dad, hey, scientist, can you hear me? And her hands have gotta be freezing cold. We have found a jewel. Hey! Are you alright? I saw the rope slip. Please, don't try that again. But Albert's down there, and my dad and everyone else as well. We must save them. You're right, though. It was stupid. I won't help them if I fall down there. Let me think. I saw an old book in the crypt. It talks about an underground labyrinth and a great chamber under the monastery. An underground chamber? It probably collapsed, and the flying sphere fell down there. Yes, I think so too. The entrance must be in the crypt. I just need to find it. Okay. Well, now we have a jewel. It probably goes right here. <gasps> there we go. We got another comet. Let's go into the crypt. Let's put the comet here. Let's open this cool cabinet. 
Ah, oh, the lotus! Right, I remember this gravestone or whatever. It's supposed to be monument or whatever from the main game. And I remember thinking, like, it looks like it's, something should be here. Or we had opened it and it had the scepter in it. I think that's how we got the scepter. But then we came back to it and it was like, something belongs here or something like that. It was saying something like there was still more to do here. Okay. It's the tombstone by the river. Some items have been placed around it and the rune stone is glowing. Ah, there's the central piece that we need. Ooh, that's pretty. Is that like a prism or something? What is it? Crystal cone. Ooh, I like that. Alright, let's go here and use the stone wheel. And now we can do the puzzle. Rotate the wheels to rearrange the picture. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. There we go. We just had to get it close enough. <gasps> Ooh, it opened the door to the catacombs, maybe? To the labyrinth? this cup. Where were we supposed to put that? In here, I think. <gasps> oh, it's the lotus. Do we have to put it on here? Didn't we need to put a lotus here? It's this interesting idea, but let's try something different. That doesn't go... Obsidian lotus. Ooh. I think it's supposed to go out here on this. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, look at that! Do we have to use a crystal cone? Yes, we do. Well then, it's not really a cone if it's shaped like a pyramid, right? I mean, in our inventory it looked like a cone, but now it's like a pyramid? Okay, just go with it. We need to find another one. And then magic happens. Okay. Yeah, this is the guy here. It moves, but I can't pick it up. It must be attached somehow. The guy with the party hat. We were looking at him in the main game. Oh. Nope. Okay, we're gonna have to put something there and get his head. I bet we're gonna have to grab his noggin and like put it with the rest of his body somewhere else or something. Okay. Alright, I guess we need to go into the secret passageway. It's too dark to look around. I need to find some kind of light. I wonder if we can use our staff on this crystal like we did the other one. Ooh. Is that a two-headed eagle? It's an old Byzantine symbol, but the artist depicted it in a strange way. How is it strange? I mean, it's strange enough that it has two heads, but... Those signs must be important. Looks like a lock, but it's missing a part. I can't use the staff on it, so let's go this way. and chain, huh? And another crystal cone and we found a sealed parchment. Secured with rune stones, but one of them is missing. Okay, we don't have a rune stone yet. We could go right. We could go left. Oh, but this is a labyrinth and we don't really know our way through yet, do we? It's the entrance to the maze. I must have taken a wrong turn. Oh, yeah. See, it's just going to keep putting us back here because we don't know our way around yet. 
Okay, but we have the crystal that we can put out here. And now we can do whatever that is. We can take that rune. And I think we can put it on this. To open that up. And what did we get? We got a parchment and a metal seal. Okay. Why don't you come with me, Coco? Ah ha! Okay, it says three. Why three? Not crossbow. Yes? No? Yes? Uh, okay, we go. This, 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 this. No? Okay, maybe I've got to put this in place first. Ah, okay, now we'll try it. That. And then that. That. Ah. I need to find a way to lock this handle down to hold the iron bars open. Well, where's Coco? Get her ass in here. I'm still holding the paper. I hope it shows the path through the labyrinth. Oh, okay. Um, well, neither one of these looks like a three, but I'm gonna go with this one. And then I'm gonna go, oh, this looks important. Let's take that. I'm gonna go this way. All right, that that was like trying to be a jump scare, but failed miserably. Okay. Well, we were here, and now we got to go here, which is not that one. So I'm guessing we have to go this way, and then we have to go crossbow. Um, hello. This is the weak spot. The wall is cracked here. Alright, let's bust it open. Something important is missing here. Maybe this gem? Look at the wall to find the parts of the symbol shown in the middle of the gem. Ah, okay. Maybe that one? see what else is shown in the gym that one oh I see we're gonna have to do multiple multiple gems here I got it I got it, I got, it. I got it that one uh-huh This one looks like that one. And that one. And now we gotta do looks like this one. And this one. Oh, they're getting harder. Maybe that one. And this one. did it! Dad, Ooh, can you what hear the me? Heck? Are you alright? Yes, we're trapped in some kind of electromagnetic field. You need to deactivate the generators. It could be dangerous to use those devices. We don't know what they do. 
Maybe I could use the Flying Sphere's radio control system to get you out of there. Emily, please check those machines. I'm sure you can just turn the generators off. Okay, we found the Flying Sphere. Now we have to turn off the electromagnetic field. Kind of dodecahedrons, but one of them is missing. I don't think we have found one yet. No. Spot for another disc. It's loose. Something's blocking it. Some kind of spiral. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. Let's look around. We can zoom in here. All right, there's a dodecahedron. A cylindrical hole. I wonder what it's for. Not for my staff. <laughs> Phrasing. It doesn't look like I can interact with anything else in here. Alright, so let's go over here and put that in place. Oh. Let's take that. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that, but okay. It's a cylinder. All right. Maybe we have to put the cylinder in here. Stop, Emily, the field is getting stronger. You were right, try to use the radio control in our headquarters. Albert says you should set the radio control frequency to 7.5 megahertz before activating it. At that frequency, it should interfere with the electromagnetic field and neutralize it. Okay. Use? What am I supposed to use on my dad? What's going on in here? I've never seen anything like this. It looks like it's from another world. We have space aliens now? Was this Vladimir guy a space alien? Uh oh, the bell's ringing. Oh, Emily, I just checked the tower. The mounting for the bell ropes fell off. I think there's a secret compartment where bell ropes were tied. I'll have a look. I found the flying sphere. Everyone is all right. But the sphere's trapped underground, and I have to use the radio control again. Okay, okay. Let's go turn the bells off. Oh! Did you make the bells ring? Oh, I guess I'm taking a break. One of these things. Anything else to interact with in here? No. Okay. All right, we gotta set this to 7.5. Oh no! Is something wrong with this device? I found a diagram of some kind. Maybe it'd help? It's on the green table where your dad and Albert were making their calculations. Okay, this table. The electrical circuit runs through the tabletop. The maintenance compartment opens when the circuit is broken. Oh, we gotta break it with the brick. There we go. Got another spring and hey, a pocket knife. I have said before that so many things in these Point and click adventure games would be solved with a pocket knife. If everyone just carried a pocket knife with them. There we go. Coco, the radio control is on again. I'm going back underground. All right, I'll stay here. Oh, what was that? I stepped on something. What's Ooh. this? Some kind of comet badge? Here, take it. Oh, I know I know where to do where to put that. I know where to stick it. 
We'll go stick it in here. Aha! There's the head! The shrine by the river. Something is in the bottom compartment and the skull is glowing. Looks like, ah, we're returning to this hidden object puzzle. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, and now we have to grab the bats. Got all the bats. Bracelet. Coat of arms, golden disc. This looks like a coat of arms. Amphora, that would be this thing. They had two handles, but okay. Chain coins. There's coins right there. Staff. I think that's this back here. Skull. Well, there's a skull right there. A flute. An icon. Well, that's the icon. This is the flute. Looks like a recorder, but okay. And a cup. Cup, chain, and golden disc. Alright, here's the cup. Is it the Holy Grail? That looks like a golden disc. And there's a piece of chain. We have found a golden disc. Alright, let's open that up. We have a skull box. Locked with a key that goes in his forehead. Do we have a key? Yes, we don't. But we have two of two of those little things. Dad, I switched on the radio control. It isn't working, is it? No, Emily, it isn't. So, there's only one option left. You need to carefully check the chamber again and find a way to deactivate the generators. Okay. Alright, let's put... Oh, they go in here, right. We'll use the magic staff. Oh no! The sphere's on fire! They burn alive! Dad! Albert! Uh... Did I just fry my dad? And my boyfriend? And all the scientists? Oh no! This reminds me of that scene in Mystery Men. <laughs> oh my gosh, has anybody in the chat room seen Mystery Men? I have seen it about 50 times. It, it, Mr. Jules Smith and I absolutely love that movie and we have watched it so much we can recite like the entire movie front to back. But there is a scene where they're trying to save Captain Amazing <laughs> and they're flipping switches. <laughs> oh my gosh oh I won't tell you just in case anybody wants to watch that movie and you don't want it spoiled but if you haven't seen it you need to go watch it now and remember this scene remember this moment from modern tales and then go watch mystery men and come back and tell me in the chat room later <laughs> in a future in a future stream tell me what you thought of it uh okay so this is his his crypt here is in a spaceship the string is made of a very strong material I can't break it Ah, maybe that's the key. Not yet, huh? Well, let's take a look at the skull key then. It looks like a key, but its bolts are missing. Okay. 
It's not human. Is that Vladimir's skeleton? Where is his skull? Oh, yeah, the bones look kind of wonky, don't they? Did he have two hearts? Is he a Time Lord? We know where his skull is. His skull is back outside. Out here. That's his skull right there. Um, so what do we need to do? Wait a minute. Do we have to put his head in here? Oh, there was another little hidden area. Aha. I bet that is going to go on the skull key. And now we can open the skull box. And now we have the orchid or whatever it is, the flower to put here. And now we can take this little thing. New task, make the flying sphere visible again. Vladimir's chamber hides a divine device able to deceive eyes and make things invisible. Oh, okay. Is that how they were hiding the monastery? Wait, so the flying sphere hasn't been destroyed. It's just invisible. They're alive. Yay. So what do we need to do? Maybe put this disc in here? Aha, yes. And the spiral? It's a display of some kind and a button. It reacts when touched. Alright, we'll touch it. Ah, there it is. They're alive and free! The radio control must have worked. Where did the sphere go? Something happened in the capsule. Find your dad! Man, I have to keep finding my dad! Ah! Discover the mystery of the underground chamber. Okay, we gotta go get his skull. I think that's what we're gonna do. Emily! I saw the flying sphere! It flew out of the sinkhole and landed somewhere near the river. All right, I'm on my way. Emily, what happened? I heard you scream in the chamber and then you just ignored us. I thought you were dead. The flying sphere seemed to disappear in flames, but it turns out it just became invisible. We didn't notice anything change, beside your strange behavior. Oh, and that skeleton, of course. It has human proportions, but it's not human. I wonder where the skull is. Uh, right, I think right I know over where your it shoulder? Is, and I'm going to put it back. Right, Be right behind careful. you? Right, it must right have there? been some kind of supernatural being. I'm sure the staff you've got belongs to him. But I thought you didn't believe in supernatural stuff, Dad. I thought it was just all, like, science. Supernatural is just stuff that hasn't been explained by science yet. He's not supernatural. He's a space alien. Put the urn there. We'll take his head. Be careful. Yeah, it yeah, must yeah, have been yeah. some kind of supernatural being. I'm no, sure no, the staff. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, wrong way. This way. Into the crypt. Here we go. Is he gonna get up and walk around? Oh, he's waiting for the staff. Look, he wants the staff. Was it a crystal skull? Did he have crystal bones? 
Did I just resurrect him? Is he flying away now? He has a spaceship! Oh my gosh. Look over there. It's some kind of flying machine. It's a spaceship. It must be going home. E.T. phone home. All right. That was the end of the bonus chapter for Modern Tales Age of Invention. <laughs> that was crazy. That guy who looked like he was some kind of religious saint or something at this monastery turned out to be a space alien that whoop flew home. All right. This game was fun. This was so much fun. I mean, it was out there. It was crazy. But I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Thanks so much, everybody, for being here. And you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Patreon, all under the name Jewel Smith. Hope to see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Until next time. <laughs>